everyone, this is Iris. Today I'm going to be showing you this hairstyle that I put together so that I can wear this adorable hair accessory or headgear called a snood or a snood as some of you may call it. And I wanted to let you guys know that this look is so easy to do and it kind of reminds me of like a little heart right at the top of your head. So hopefully you guys will follow along and I will show you how I did it. First thing I did is I parted these two sections and these are going to be the parts that are going to go rolled up and over on top of my head. Then using any type of tool that you'd like, I'm using this clipless curling iron, you're going to curl your hair and clip it until it cools off. You can use anything that you want. So definitely you want to let it sit on top of your head like so until it is completely cool. I just used a couple of clips to hold my hair in place but you can use anything you want. After it cooled off, I took it down and then I started to create my victory rolls. I sprayed one side of the hair, which is going to be the inside of my victory roll, and then I smoothed out the outside. Now I'm going to hold my hair off to the opposite side and without letting go, I'm going to curl my hair toward the center part and keeping the hair up nice and taut. So now that I have the hair in the position that I'm going to pin the victory roll at, I can go ahead and start using one hand to open up a bobby pin and put it in the back of the victory roll to conceal a bobby pin as much as possible. Not letting go until I feel 100% secure, I'm going to insert one or two more bobby pins. Now that I feel a little bit more confident, I'm going to go ahead and let go. And here you can see I'm just smoothing out any sagging that I might have and I'm just going to pin this in the back just like I would with a French twist. Now the front two little loops are not perfect yet and I will work on those in a little bit. It just so happens that I have really long hair so they kind of tend to sag. So once I have the hair in the position that I want it to be in the back and I have it nice and tight then I can go ahead and insert my bobby pins and start working in the center part. If you just have a little bit of sagging then you can just take a couple of bobby pins and you can work them into your hair and then hold it in place but if you have a lot of sagging then you definitely want to start all over again. Here you can see I just have a little bit of sagging so I'm going to go ahead and insert a bobby pin in there to hold it in place. Now I have my hair as secure and as asymmetrical as I possibly could get it and I'm just feeling around to make sure everything is nice and secure. Now when your hair is styled this way you can leave your hair down and just curl the rest of your hair or you can tie it in a ponytail if you'd like. The cutest way happens to also be the laziest way which is to put it in a snood and just wrap your hair like so and then put this thing over your head. It's so easy and simple and makes you just look so adorable, so vintage looking and definitely I can picture myself running around town wearing this thing on top of my head while I pull my toddler around. It is just so cute. It also comes with this cute little flower and as you previously saw it was uh, it had a little bow on top but you can also wear it with just a little flower but super cute. I love it because it's also um, functional and girly. If you feel confident enough you can also put your hair in rollers um, or bobby pin rollers you know just kind of like roll your hair and then bobby pin them and then by the end of the day you'll have curly hair. So cute. Can you picture yourself like doing chores around the house and stuff and someone comes over <laughs> and you look like this. It's like you look put together, you know? I love it. I'm so happy with it. So on to reading your comments. I want to say congratulations to you guys for having the top comments this week. Congratulations on being the first commenter on my last video and congratulations on being the second comment in my previous video. And congratulations on being the not-so-random comment winner. I just so happened to read your comment and I chose you. So if you want to watch my previous hair tutorial on this easy peasy pinup look, please click here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have found inspiration in this video.